Namaste dear viewer today I have got class 7 science and technology unit for biodiversity and environment fill in the blanks using appropriate words solar energy is an example of perpetual resource those resources which can be generated time and again are called renewable the richness or variety of living things in an area is biodiversity the balance in the number of living and non-living things in a particular area is called balanced environment. We must try to reduce the production of waste. Practice of sorting out waste materials for reuse is recycle. Healthy environment helps us to live healthy. What do you mean by reuse? Reuse means to use something again or more than once. For example, you can reuse your grocery bags instead of throwing them away to conserve resources. Recycle. Recycle means to convert waste into reusable material. It is the process of converting waste materials into new materials and objects. For example, you can recycle plastic bottles to make new plastic products. Reduce. Reduce means to make something smaller or less in amount, degree or size. It is the process of using fewer resources and creating less waste. For example, you can reduce your carbon footprint by using public transportation instead of driving your car. Natural resource. Natural resource is something that comes from nature and can be used for some benefit without human intervention. It can be something like water, air, soil, minerals, plants or animals. Elements of environment. The elements of environment are the basic components that make up the environment. They include the atmosphere or air, lithosphere or rocks and soil, hydrosphere or water and the living component of the environment or biosphere. Watershed. A watershed is an area of land that separates water flowing to different rivers, basins or seas. It is also an area or region drained by a river, river system or other body of water. Wetland. A wetland is an area of land that is saturated with water either permanently or seasonally. Wetlands are important because they provide habitat for a variety of plants and animals and help to filter pollutants from water. Biodiversity. Biodiversity refers to the variety of living species on earth including plants, animals, bacteria and fungi. It is the total variety of life on earth. Give reason. Nepal is rich in biodiversity. Nepal is rich in biodiversity because of its unique geographic features so we can find many types of flora and fauna here in Nepal. The country is part of a biodiversity hotspot and lies at the transition zone comprised of six floristic regions. There are six biomes occurring in Nepal, including as many as 35 forest types and 118 ecosystems, which have been classified on the basis of altitudinal, climatic variation and vegetation types. Overpopulation is the key factor for environmental degradation. Overpopulation leads to environmental degradation because it leads to an increased demand for housing, food and resources which in turn leads to an increase in pollution and environmental degradation. Life cannot exist without natural resource. Life cannot exist without natural resource because natural resources such as air, water and food are essential for survival of all living organisms on earth. Air is necessary for breathing and exchange of gases in the body. Water is essential for hydration and many other bodily functions. Food provides the necessary nutrients and energy for growth and survival. The balance in the number of living and non-living things is the key to environmental balance. The balance between living and non-living things is important for environmental balance because living organisms depend on non-living things such as air, water and soil for survival. Non-living things provide the necessary resources for living organisms to thrive. In turn, living organisms play an important role in maintaining the balance of the environment by regulating the cycling of nutrients and in energy. The balance between living and non-living things is essential for the survival of all living organisms on Earth. Write the differences between reuse and recycle. Reuse, it is the process of using same product. Recycle, it is the process where the product is separated and recycled. Reuse new product is not formed recycle new product is formed wetland and watershed wetland wetlands are land that is covered mostly with water watershed a watershed is an area of land that drains into a common waterway examples of wetlands 
are marshes, swamps, etc. Examples of watershed are river basin, glacier, lakes, etc. Renewable and non-renewable. Renewable, it can be easily replenished. Non-renewable, it cannot be replenished once it is exhausted. Solar energy and wind energy are the example of renewable resources. Coal, gas and mineral well are the examples of non-renewable resources. Water and petroleum. Water, water is a simple chemical compound H2O consisting of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Petroleum, petroleum is a complex mixture of hydrocarbons formed from the remains of ancient marine plants and animals. Water is abundant on earth and found in various natural resources like oceans, rivers and lakes. Petroleum is not as universally abundant and requires specific geological conditions to form leading to uneven distribution and limited availability. Answer the following questions. Define biodiversity. How does human population lead to destruction? Biodiversity refers to the variety of species in an ecosystem. Human population growth significantly impacts biodiversity by driving land use changes such as urbanization and agriculture expansion, resulting in habitat destruction and fragmentation. Deforestation further reduces natural habitats, affecting many plants and animals, animal species. Additionally, polluting from human activities degrades environments and harms wildlife. Overfishing and overhunting lead to population declines, disrupting ecological balance. As the demand for resources like food and water rises with the growing population, ecosystems suffer from excessive exploitation. Conservation efforts and sustainable practices are essential to mitigate these threats and preserve biodiversity for a balanced and healthy planet. What are the natural resources? Write the importance of natural resource. Natural resources are materials and substances found in the environment including renewable resources like water and forest and non-renewable sources like fossil fuels and minerals. Importance. Natural resources sustain life, support ecosystem, drive economic development, provide environment, offer cultural and recreational value, regulate climate and contribute to biodiversity and genetic diversity. Managing them wisely is vital for a sustainable future. What types of activities help in the environmental protection? Following activities help in the environmental protection. Conservation efforts protect natural habitats and in wildlife. Using renewable energy reduces greenhouse gas emissions. Recycling and waste reduction conserve resources. Pollution control measures safeguard the environment. Planting trees aids in carbon sequestration and biodiversity. Sustainable transportation reduces emissions and congestion. Eco-friendly products minimize environmental impact. Environmental education raises awareness and support. Water conservation ensures clean water availability. Wildlife protection preserves endangered species. Explain the importance and necessity of water resources. Water resources are essential for sustainable development, human health and environmental protection. They provide water and nutrients to various areas on the earth and support the growth of plants and animals. They also serve as sources of energy, navigation, recreation and agriculture. Water resources are vital for the well-being and productivity of human populations. Water is necessary for drinking and sanitation, providing our crops, livestock and industry and creating and sustaining the ecosystems on which all life depends. Make a note on how you manage the solid waste around you. By adopting the principles of reduce, reuse and recycle, we can make a significant positive impact on solid waste management, promoting sustainability and contributing to a healthier planet. Reduce. The first step in managing the solid waste is to reduce its generation. This can be achieved through sources reduction measures such as promoting sustainable consumption, encouraging the use of reusable products and raising awareness about the environmental impact of certain items. Reuse. The second point involves reusing material whenever possible. By finding creative ways to repurpose items or donating them for others to use, we can significantly reduce the amount of waste that ends in landfills. Recycle. The third R is recycling. Setting up efficient recycling programs and ensuring proper waste separation allows recyclable materials like paper, plastic, glass and metals to be processed and reused, conserving valuable resources and minimizing the environmental impact of the waste. What are the main reasons of environmental degradation? Environmental degradation results from diverse human activities and natural processes that harm the environment. Key factors include deforestation, 
clearing forest for agriculture, logging and urbanization leads to biodiversity loss, soil erosion and disrupted ecosystems. It also contributes to climate change as trees absorb carbon dioxide, pollution, air, water and soil pollution from industrial emissions, untreated sewage and improper waste disposal harm ecosystems and pose health risk to humans and wildlife. Climate change, excessive greenhouse gas emissions from burning fossil fuels cause global warming, resulting in rising temperatures, melting ice caps, sea level rise, extreme weather and ecosystem disruption. Overpopulation, rapid population growth strains natural resources leading to overconsumption, habitat destruction and increased waste generation. Explain the importance of watershed and wetland in the context of Nepal. In Nepal, both watersheds and wetlands are of paramount importance for ecological balance, sustainable development and the well-being of the environment and communities. Watersheds serve critical roles in water resource management, regulating the flow of water in rivers and streams. They support rich biodiversity and provide essential ecosystem services such as soil retention, water purification and fl flood regulation. Watersheds are crucial for sustaining agriculture and rural livelihoods, ensuring a consistent water supply for farming and other needs. Additionally, they play a vital role in supporting hydropower generation, a renewable energy source vital for Nepal's economic development. Wetlands, on the other hand, are biodiversity hotspots in Nepal, housing diverse plants, animals and bird species. They act as natural buffers against floods, helping to control water levels during heavy rainfall and improving climate re resilience. Water wetlands serve as natural filters, purifying water by removing pollutants and maintaining water quality in rivers and lakes. Furthermore, wetlands hold cultural significance for local communities and offer recreational opportunities such as ecotourism and bird watching. Preserving and conserving these ecosystems are crucial to safeguarding the delicate ecological balance, promoting sustainable development and ensuring a prosperous future for both environment and the people of Nepal. Express your ideas to conserve environment. Conserving environment is a shared responsibility that requires collective action and individual commitment. Here are some key ideas to help preserve and protect our planet. Reduce, reuse, recycle, minimize waste, re reuse items and promote recycling to limit resource consumption and landfill waste. Conserve energy and water. Practice energy efficient and water conservation to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and preserve water resources. Protect biodiversity. Support conservation efforts to safeguard ecosystems and preserve plant and animal species. Advocate for sustainable policies. Support and promote environmentally friendly policies and regulations to drive positive change at all levels. Raise awareness. Educate others about environmental issues and encourage responsible actions for a greener future. By embracing these practices and advocating for environmental protection, we can collectively work towards a sustainable and healthier planet. Explain in detail the initiatives that we human beings should take to maintain environmental balance. To maintain environmental balance, human beings must take proactive initiatives to address climate change, habitat destruction, pollution and resource depletion. Transitioning to renewable energy sources like solar and wind, promoting sustainable consumption and conserving natural habitats are crucial steps. Responsible water management, circular economy promotion and advocating for environmental friendly policies are vital. Educating and raising awareness about environmental issues can inspire positive actions. Supporting sustainable agriculture, reducing plastic use and engaging in local community efforts are essential for a greener future. Additionally, promoting eco-friendly travel and transportation, investing in environmental research and in innovation and collaborating with local organizations can have a significant impact. It is our collective responsibility to protect the environment, preserve biodiversity and ensure a sustainable future for generations to come. Biodiversity and environment have close interrelationship, justify with valid reason. Biodiversity and environment share a close interrelationship due to their intricate and interconnected nature. 
Ecosystems depend on biodiversity to function effectively. Each species within an ecosystem plays a unique role, contributing to essential ecological processes such as nutrient cycling, pollination, and pest control. The loss of even a single species can disrupt these delicate interactions, leading to imbalances and potential ecosystem collapse. Biodiversity also enhances the environment's resilience and ability to adapt to environmental changes. Diverse ecosystems are more robust in withstanding disturbances like ex extreme weather events, diseases, and climate shifts. They act as buffers against environmental stressors, promoting long-term sustainability. Furthermore, a healthy environment is vital for supporting diverse life forms. Habitats rich in biodiversity provide abundant resources and shelter for various species, contributing to their survival and e evolution. Conversely, human activities that degrade the environment, such as deforestation, pollution, and habitat destruction, threaten biodiversity and disrupt ecological balance. By recognizing and preserving this, this close relationship, we can protect both biodiversity and environment, fostering a healthier planet for future generations. Analytical question. Observe the picture and answer the following questions. How do these activities affect the agriculture of our country? The activities of deforestation, forest fires, and mixing of sewage in water have significant adverse effects on agriculture in our country. Deforestation leads to the loss of vital forest ecosystems that provide essential services like soil erosion prevention and biodiversity support. The absence of tree cover can degrade soil quality, affecting fertility and water retention capacity, while altering local climate conditions can impact crop growth and productivity. Forest fires, whether natural or human-caused, can damage crops, soil fertility, and disrupt ecological balance, affecting pollinators and beneficial organisms. The mixing of sewage in water bodies used for agriculture poses risk to crops and public health due to harmful pathogens and pollutants. Contaminated irrigation water may transmit pathogens to crops, making them unsafe for consumption, and pollutants can degrade soil quality. Addressing these issues requires sustainable land use practices, forest conservation, and proper wastewater treatment to ensure agricultural productivity and environmental health. Do they affect water resources? If yes, write briefly. Yes, this activity can significantly affect water resources. Deforestation. Deforestation reduces tree cover, which plays a crucial role in maintaining water resources. Trees absorb and retain water, preventing soil erosion and regulating water flow. Without trees, rainfall runoff increases, leading to flash floods and reduced groundwater reserves. Forest fires. Forest fires can degrade water quality by releasing ash, pollutants, and sediment into water bodies. The ash can affect water pH and nutrient levels, while sediment runoff can clog waterways and reduce water clarity. Mixing of sewage in water. Sewage mixing contaminates water bodies used for irrigation for, or drinking, posing health risk and reducing the availability of clean water resources. Sewage contains harmful pathogens and pollutants that can cause Harm that can harm both humans and aquatic life. How does wildlife get affected by above activities? The activities of deforestation, forest fire, and mixing of sewage in water have profound and detrimental impacts on wildlife and biodiversity. Deforestation results in the loss of fragmentation of natural habitats, pushing wildlife to seek new territories or leading to their displacement. Many species, especially those with specific habitat requirements, struggle to adapt to new environments, leading to reduced population size and increased vulnerability to extinction. Moreover, deforestation disrupts ecological networks, affecting predator-prey relationships and plant-animal interactions. Forest fires have direct and immediate effects on wildlife. Animals often fail to escape fast-spreading fires, resulting in injury or death. The loss of vegetation removes essential food and shelter sources for wildlife, leading to increased competition for resources and potential food scarcity throughout the food chain. Furthermore, fire-induced changes in vegetation composition can favor certain species over others, altering the balance of ecosystems. Mixing of sewage in water bodies poses severe threats to aquatic wildlife. 
Pollutants and pathogens from sewage can contaminate water, making it toxic and unsuitable for aquatic organisms. Fish, amphibians, and other aquatic species may suffer from poisoning or impaired re reproduction. Additionally, the degradation of water quality reduces availability of food sources for wildlife depend on healthy water ecosystems. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe, like, and share my video. Thank you so much.